day, grade 6. Are you ready to learn? I can't hear you. Again, are you ready to learn? Okay, let us start learning. Today, we are going to study Do you have any idea? Okay, well, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to add and subtract simple fractions and mixed numbers. Let us start by recalling how to determine the LCD or least common denominator with a set of numbers. To do that, you have to list down all the multiples of the numbers and get the least common multiple. For example, get the LCM of 3 and 4. The easy way to do that is to multiply the given numbers to the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Take a look on this process. Like what I have said, we will multiply the given numbers to the counting numbers to get their multiples. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4, 12. 4 times 3, 12. And 4 times 4, 16. And the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Are you ready for another example, grade 6? Okay. This time, let us find the LCD of 3 fifth and 2 third. Let us get the denominators 5 and 3. With the same process, we will multiply 5 and 3 by the counting numbers. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 5, 20. 4 times 3, 12. 5 times 5, 25. And 5 times 3, 15. The least common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. Now, the LCD of 3 fifth and 2 third is 15. I am pretty sure that you are now ready for our lesson today. Let us start with this problem. Lisa rode her bike for 1 fifth of a kilometer on Saturday and two-fifth kilometer on Sunday. How many kilometers did she ride all together? Remember, to solve a problem, you have to look for a keyword that could lead you to an operation. So here, the keyword is all together, meaning you have to join them together or add them together. So now, let us have the solution. Since we already know the keyword altogether, we will use addition as our operation. Let us write the number sentence. One-fifth plus two-fifth is equal to n. Grade 6, what have you noticed with our given fractions? Okay, you are correct. The denominators are the same. Or meaning the two fractions are similar. How to add similar fractions? To add or subtract fractions having the same denominators, just copy the denominator and add or subtract the numerators. One fifth plus two fifth copy five as your denominator, then add the numerators one plus two is equal to three. 
Now, the final answer is 3 fifths. How about if the denominators are not the same? What are we going to do? Grade 6, let us take a look on this example. Example number 1. Add 1 fourth and 3 eighth. Since our denominators are not the same, we need to find first the least common multiple of the denominators by multiplying the given denominators to the counting numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 8 is 24. Now, we can identify the least number that is common to both of them, and that is 8. The LCD of 1 fourth and 3 8 is 8. Let us add 1 fourth and 3 8. We already know that the LCD is 8. To add or subtract the numerators, divide first the LCD by each denominator, then multiply to the numerator. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 3 is 3. We can now add the numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. The sum of 1 fourth and 3 eighth is 5 eighths. Example number 2. Subtract one half and one fourth. We will use the same process. We need to find first the LCM of two and four. Two times two is equal to four. Two times four is eight. Three times two is six. Three times four is twelve. And four times two. 8, 4 times 4, 16. Don't forget that we need to get the least common multiple of 2 and 4. And that is 4. The LCD of 1 half and 1 fourth is 4. Let us proceed to the solution. Let us write first the least common denominator of 1 half and 1 fourth. With the same process, we will divide first the LCD by each denominator, then multiply to the numerator. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Now, we can subtract 2 and 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. The difference between one half and one fourth is one fourth. Example number three. One and two third minus one half. We will find again the LCD of three and two. We will use the same process. Two times three is six. Two times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 2 is 6 so the lcd of 1 and 2 third and 1 half is 6 let us subtract we will write the lcd which is 6 and copy the whole number since the subtrahend is just a fraction. Then we will proceed by dividing the LCD by each denominator, then multiply to the numerator. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Let us subtract 4 and 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Copy the whole number 
1. And the difference between 1 and 2 thirds and 1 half is 1 and 1 sixth. Again, grade 6, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something with our lesson. And don't forget to do the Let's Dig In on page 6 of your module. And always remember, Paul Halmos once said, To learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you and goodbye.